acted immature. Oh, 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 that's an understatement. Uh, I'm not sure it's just her behaviour we should be judging here. Really? Well, look, here's this person. We've known him forever. Now I feel like I don't know him at all. I'm, I'm going into partnership. What are you with... saying? You can't trust him anymore? Oh, well... No, not really. Not when he's leading a double life. Well, so being in love with two women somehow affects his abilities as a doctor, does it? I don't know. I can't answer that. Oh, I would have thought you couldn't. Didn't seem to affect you. I beg your pardon. Going out. Well, at least it's out in the open. Why don't I feel any better then? I'll get it. If it's Darcy or Tess, I'm not here, okay? Susan, hi. Hi, Tony. Hey. I was going to say that tonight, instead of celebrating, Carl is across the road contemplating the future of his practice. He's hurt and he's humiliated. Now, what were you thinking causing a scene like that? He had a right to know, Susan. It was neither the time nor the place. There is absolutely no defence for your behaviour tonight, Dee. It was childish and selfish in the extreme. With all due respect, I think Darcy deserved it. Fine. Did Carl? Did Tess? You weren't thinking of anyone but yourself. Yes, you're right. And given the circumstances, you would have done the same thing. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I expected more from you, Dee. From all of you. I'll let myself out. She's right, you know. Not defending Darcy or anything like that, but um, we could have put more thought into it. Look, what's done is done. I think she's upset because Darcy's her nephew. Oh, come off it, mate. You've got to admit, it was a harsh scenario. I don't know, whoever, whoever reckoned that revenge was a dish best served cold obviously had a better recipe. I'm going to my room.